In my last video, God of War Ragnarok, where I tested all the performance modes, I received a lot of comments from people. They don't want to use the high frame rate mode because as soon as they're doing this, the PlayStation 5 is changing from RGB to YCPCR422. And then some people claiming they're getting a very washed out picture. I'm very surprised about that because I have literally no problem at all on my G2 or CX. Let me make one thing very clear. I'm not saying that those people are wrong. I'm just saying that I have no problem at all on my two OLED TVs because I haven't played this game on my Q95B from Samsung. I can really just talk about my OLED TVs, the LG G2 and the LG CX. And on those TVs, there's literally no difference, or let's say like this, almost no difference between RGB and YCPCR 4.2.0 and 4.2.0 is even a worse quality than 4.2.2. And I'm not saying that RGB or YCPCR 4.4.4 wouldn't be the best choice when it comes to transferring a signal via the HDMI port. Quite the opposite. Whenever you can use RGB or YCPCR 4.4.4 to have the yeah, full benefit from the HDMI signal, but there's something to consider. To get the full benefit between RGB and YCPCR444 and by the way the difference between those two is not relevant because there is no difference. RGB or YCPCR444 is exactly the same quality and we're not even starting with RGB full or limited because to see a difference you would need a proper side-by-side -side comparison and even then I think the differences are very very subtle. But let's go back to RGB YCPCR444 and the full benefit. To have the full benefit, you must use the PC mode on your TV. At least on the LG OLED TVs, you must use the PC mode. Otherwise, the internal electronic, and it doesn't matter what signal you actually delivering to the TV, but if you don't use the PC mode, the internal signal is always limited to YCPCR422. And I'm not saying that there is no difference between RGB and YCPCR 4.2.2 or 4.2.0 because there is a difference, but very, very subtle, at least on my two TVs. So all the comparisons what I have done today in terms of recording and side-by-side -side comparisons, I have done on my LG G2. And when I'm going to show you this, you will see that the difference between RGB and YCPCR is almost zero. But I found a very minor difference, very subtle, a very small difference between RGB and YCPCR422 or 420 in terms of brightness, not in terms of color. In terms of color, I couldn't find any difference actually between those two or actually those three HDMI signals. Okay, YCPCR422, 420 and RGB. In terms of brightness, on the other hand, yeah, I found a difference. And it's really just a very minor, very small difference in terms of brightness and not, not even close to a day and night difference. So people claiming that when they changing from RGB to YCPCR, they're getting a complete washed out picture. This is not the case. What I'm talking about in terms of brightness is really we have differences in terms of the brightness from specular highlights or in terms of shadow details. And it appears to me that RGB has actually better details when we're talking about shadow details. And on the other hand, YCPCR 420 or 422 has actually a higher peak brightness and specular highlights. But this again, it is very minor and really just visible in a side-by-side -side comparison. And without any further ado, I would say we're starting with the side-by-side -side comparison between RGB and YCPCR 420 and 422. So keep in mind, sometimes I'm using 420, sometimes I'm using 422, but please always remember 420 is actually even worse compared to 422. So 422 should deliver a better picture than 420. Let me just looking at the technical specs. So my first game, what I'm using, for my first comparison is Immortals Phoenix Rising and why I'm choosing this game is because first of all it's a very colorful game and second of all it's a very bright game and I think perfect for my first comparison. 
And because Immortals Phoenix Ryzen does not support any high frame rate mode, I had to use or I had to change the settings on the PlayStation 5, but that's actually very, very simple. All what you have to do is you go to the settings menu, screen and video, and under the option menu, 4K video transfer rate, you can choose between RGB, YCPCR 422 and YCPCR 420. For my next comparison I used Horizon Forbidden West and in this case I switched in the game between resolution mode and the frame rate performance mode and therefore I switched between 60 and 120 hertz. So keep in mind when me now comparing this and when I'm showing you the comparison do not look for resolution changes because the resolution mode of course has a higher resolution than the performance mode. What we are looking for is brightness difference and color difference. And last but not least, God of War Ragnarok. And I compared again RGB with YCPCR 422 and even 420. Okay, so what is now my summary in terms of RGB versus YCPCR 422 or even 420? 
there is almost no difference. There is literally just this difference in terms of brightness and that's it. Not in terms of colors at all and brightness not in terms of getting our complete washed out pictures you have seen it in the comparison we're really just talking about shadow details which are getting a little bit brighter with rgb or specular highlights which are getting a little bit brighter with ycbcr so not in terms of complete wrong gamma or washed out picture so i don't know what's going on with uh, people's tv TVs or screens when they're changing or when the PlayStation 5 is changing one RGB to YCPCR. But it would be very helpful, of course, if you put in a comment section what TV are you using, what maybe cable. Cable shouldn't do, shouldn't make any difference because it's HDMI, it's digital. Either you have a picture or you don't, okay? So we're not talking about any analog display port or whatever. Um, I really don't know what's going on. I really have no idea because on my G2 or my CX, there is literally no problem at all. And just to have maybe a little bit of more shadow details. And again, this is so subtle, so minor, you would need a side-by-side -side comparison. But just to have a little bit of more shadow details. And because of that, you stick to RGB and you miss out actually the high frame rate mode in some games like God of War, and I'm talking about high frame rate mode 60 FPS plus, so we're talking about 70 to 90 FPS, which is already a big difference in comparison to 60 FPS in my opinion. No, it's not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it because you can't see the difference at all without having a side-by-side -side comparison, and even then, it's just that.